channel hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl's name i'm back with another vlog <sighs> so guys uh i am doing a i don't know if it's a sit down or whatever you want to call it but as you have seen I, i'm not sure which one i'm gonna pause first but i've decided just to be myself that's a, an advice i got from many people or few people <laughs> that they enjoy vlogs where a person is themselves and also i've recently realized because i've been holding back on recording because i don't i have people i'm sure everyone does have people in their lives or who it wants in their lives and who wants to know what is happening in their lives and not because they care but because they are just nosy and also because they want to compare themselves apparently i attract a lot of those people in my life and i've been holding back uh because you know i'm like i'm gonna post and they gonna know what's up but now i'm like <clears throat> what the heck i enjoy vlogging i enjoy recording about my life um that the reason i started the youtube channel a few years ago is because i wanted to you know vlog about my life um not daily but you know like stuff that i got i i, I get into and whatnot but anyways this video is not about that i'm go i am gonna be sharing something very personal and I don't know I, I, I don't want to say embarrassing but you know um, I have a condition or a disorder according to Google I have alopecia alopecia I don't know like whatever pronunciation I'll just put the name alopecia is a condition it, it's, a, it's a hair loss condition so where you lose hair um so i believe it's an I, like i haven't been uh let me see if it's still recording i haven't been diagnosed but it seems like it is because i've i, I lost my hair when i was turning 13 that's when like after cutting my hair it never grew back in the front and um i tried all that i could at that time with what i could afford but it never grew back and i just it was it wasn't it's 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 still not a big deal for me but people make it a big deal so sometimes i feel some type of way about it and sometimes i'm just like like most of the time like i i i, I to be quite honest it does bother me but not very much like hence i think i that's why i haven't done anything about it until this far because i'm just like it's not very it's not my priority to sort or to try and sort and it's not a big deal for me you know i was telling one of my friends that um because like i have few people now that have come up and have it and you know um I was telling my friend, one of my friends would say, I like, I, I will at some point, it's not my priority right now. And uh, whenever and yeah, whenever I can or when I feel the need, well, not that I don't see a need, oh my gosh, I'm, my mind is just all over the place, but it's not my priority right now to, to try and get it sorted um i haven't done much research i've tried stuff i've tried probiotic the biotin uh supplement and i realized that i wasn't consistent enough hence maybe i didn't see the result and i've drank zinc and it wasn't for the hair it was for during the whole um COVID-19 and uh, skin and whatnot so apparently it helps as well so yeah I just haven't been consistent because it's not my priority thing to do to sort out I have so much that um, 
that is on my priority list like traveling a bit more because before i like get into like a serious commitment like marriage or career and stuff but anyways um yeah i just wanted to share about that like i would like to hear from people i'll show you guys my alopecia or the alopecia that i have and i i would really like to know because i had a conversation for the first time about it with a friend who is not here and i i was just like in fact there's so many people who has this disorder and i wonder what like what people think about it and what people have done to try and cure it how does it make people feel because this particular friend uh she she told me that she cuts off her hair every year and even though we didn't get deep into the conversation but i would just like to like hear from different people who have this disorder uh when it started because according to my research it can start from a teenage like teenagehood which it happened with me even though the way it happened i was so confused for the longest time because i used to use oh my um my parents i would say my parents and the adults around me my older like cousins and stuff they used to use a lot of um hair products on my hair uh because i have i have like a, a, a large volume of hair like so my hair is like very congested if i may use that word and it's like very yeah so i had big hair growing up as a child and um yeah in order for them to do my hair I, I i used a lot of chemicals in my head so for the longest time i believe that was the cause of this alopecia but apparently it happens in your teenage wood and also i think it might have been inherited from my mother even though she had good hair growing up i guess but apparently when she was pregnant with me she had a lot of hair and then after me she lost the hair and now she's also struggling uh i haven't checked in fact if it's alopecia as well but it yeah anyways so the exciting part about this vlog that i'm making today and the reason i'm recording from the bathroom one of the reason i'm recording from the bathroom is because i wanted to be away from the noise and um so i'm gonna be dyeing my hair not all of it like i want to like dye the tips <laughs> hence i'm dressed like this so this is the alopecia alopecia whatever it is um so i lost my hair like in the front <laughs> can you imagine so i lost my hair in the front it's kind of grown back a little bit it's kind of growing back a little bit like on the you know on the edges uh but it never like it hasn't grown above this and also it's just like on the borders and here like it's very it's like bold like it's like bold and so whatever hairstyle because i i hate people looking at me like there were times where i like i've never cared like i've said before i it, it never bothered me that much and i remember one time i had a hairstyle that showed it off and everyone would be looking at me and i didn't like that hence most of my hairstyle if you notice and check out my other videos i always try my best to cover it so yeah so um i just took off my braids uh yesterday or the day before yesterday and i decided because i need to wash my head i decided that i'm gonna wash it once when i <sighs> i've said a lot when i dye my hair so i wanted to buy blonde uh but is this still recording yeah so it's charged so i wanted to buy blonde 
but at the shop that I went to, they didn't have plant. And I knew that if I didn't buy it at that time, I wasn't going to buy it because of the money, because of also I, I, I didn't see myself going to any shops. Uh, but also because I have so many commitments and this was not going to be my priority. So I decided to go with, because I just want to like do stuff with my hair like it's my hair uh so i wanted to do something different and i ended up going with this color uh rich copper rich copper color it's my it was my first time reading this word but i see that this is like not blonde but brownish reddish in a way and i think it's gonna look nice on my hair so uh maybe if i don't like it or in a few weeks time i'll go blonde so i was like okay i can do with this one for now and see how it goes before i go full blonde uh but yeah i'm gonna record with you while i do this and i'm gonna because my hair is like pro black 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 i'm gonna have to um stay with this for like i think they say you take la, 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 la. i'll read the instruction but i think it's like few minutes and me i'm gonna stay with it or i have to stay with this for like more than an hour or two so yeah guys i will do this with you and yeah i'm gonna read the instructions and then yeah you see me i'll, I'll i'm doing it myself because yeah no one is really home. It's just my mom and she's busy. And also I like, I, I, I don't like people touching my hair. Allow the color to develop. Okay, so apparently I'm supposed to stay up to 45 minutes but with the mixture in my hair, but I'm gonna do like two hours. When I was, when I was in the US, I would stay like overnight. <laughs> It was crazy and that damaged my hair but at least at that time i had dreadlocks so uh yeah it didn't do much damage to my scalp but to my hair to my dreadlocks because yeah it yeah so look warm okay all right so I see, I see, I see. I need to get a bow before I start. So yeah, guys, uh, thank you for listening. Stay tuned. From now on, it's just going to be me doing with some music in the background. And yeah, I'm going to get the bow. I wanted to 
Like I can't even see what I'm doing. I'm gonna trust myself. All the best to my Afro. Because I can't see anything, there's no mirror in this bedroom. I was gonna do this. I just saw this cling wrap lying there and I was like, ah, oh. instead of putting a plastic, this cling wrap was, this cling wrap was like, here I am, you can use me. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna wait for two hours and then I'm gonna wash. And then we're gonna see the result. Can we? Should I keep this? Yeah, maybe I should. Okay. Alright. Bye for now. Okay guys, it's, I'm back. It's been over two and a half hours. I haven't checked myself. I decided to add this plastic so they will be more warm. And since I still need to uh, wash my, I, I was supposed to wash my hair anyways, I have the shampoo. Um, and then I have Castor oil. I, I know it's not the like the original one, but I'll use what I have. Like it's the castor oil and to to nourish and moisturize my hair. And then I have the olive oil. So yeah, I'm gonna wash my hair in this lukewarm water, and then I'm gonna read with cold, well cold water from uh, from the shower. So the big reveal, oops, oops, like I don't have a mirror, like it's not here, it's in the other rooms and I'm so lazy to go and check myself out before I wash. So you guys are the first to see, or the camera is the first to see, since I'll be editing and I'll see 
how it is looking right now because the plastic is like reddish so we'll see i'm washing guys i'll show you once i'm done I usually do. I haven't seen my hair. I'll see it after I finish recording. Uh, but usually while my hair is still wet like this, like not dripping dripping, but while my hair is still like this, I apply the moisturizer so they can lock in the moisture. So I'm um, applying the oils. Yo, the custard oil I know smells horrible and I haven't smelled it in a very long time so ew 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 pray for me pray for me ew it smells so horrible reminding me of my childhood traumas when my parents will force me to drink this thing Watch until the end. 